you're still listening to these, you're still watching these, you're still reading these, these things that keep popping up. You're getting notifications, you're getting the hype you need. You're getting the, the followers that you need. But what you're not getting is people's respects. You're not earning their respects. You're not earning their time wisely. So, if I have been carelessly, you know, ruining people's time, then by all means, you know, don't stop on my account. Don't stop on my account. You know, I have a lot of accounts. I have a lot of works of art that I have created. I have a lot of great people come and go throughout the times. And throughout this moment of understanding one's I guess it just doesn't really matter to be honest it doesn't really matter my alarm goes off and like for that moment I start my new day Remembering what I did the day before, the weeks before, the months before, the years before. <coughs> <coughs> when my alarm goes off, I start a new day, a new chapter, a new episode, a new live stream. It doesn't really matter, whatever you want to call it. But I start off a new day. Hoping that it gets better the next day. Hoping that it gets noticed the next day. Gets mentioned the next day. And a lot of things that I do seem to be going unmentionable. And a lot of things that I do seem to be going through people's ears and out the other and So, if you're listening, you're kind of confused with what you're watching. But if you're kind of confused with what you're watching, are you? I don't doubt, I don't think you should be confused of what you're watching. You should be able to understand you should be able to to figure it out it's not hard to figure out it's not hard it's really simple and when you get down to the you know the bottom of everything and you look up and you see what it took for someone else to do something. And you look at yourself. Can I do it better? Can I be a better person? Can I be a better friend? Can I be a better listener? Can I be a better lover? Can I be a better all around Swell guy. Yeah, I can. But I'd be lying to myself. I'd be joking to myself and telling myself, yeah, you know. 
They just don't like us. They just don't like what we do, what we say, and what we attempt in trying to do. They just don't like us. They never will. They never will get that resentment taste out of their mouth. They'll always have that resentment taste in their mouth, and it will remain in their mouth for a long time. So, disrespect me all you want. Hate me all you want. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter anymore. Life as we know it, society as we know it, things have fucking hit the fucking shit fan. There's so many unraveling scenarios going on. So little time to do anything. To tell the person that you care about them, to tell your friend, hey, I missed your call. Sorry, Mr. Call. I was busy being depressed. You know? But being depressed is one thing. But having, an, having someone to listen to you constantly and tell you everything's going to be fine, tell you everything's going to be great, Why am I believing the lie that I am great? I'm not great in what I do. I really suck at what I do, actually. I'm really bad at what I do. I talk. I talk too much. Sometimes I just don't know when to shut the fuck up. Sometimes it takes takes others to beat the endless shit out of me to shut me up. But I keep coming back. I keep harping back and defending my, my pride and my, my values and what I'm worth to others. Keep showing them up. You know, I'm worth, I'm worth a lot. You know, I'm, I'm worth the attention, but I'm not worth the popularity. I'm worth the conversation, but I'm not worth your time. I'm worth the dedication, but I'm not worth the time it took to get there. You know, it's been walking on bombshells, fragments of eggshells. You know, it's been walking on pits of lava with me. You know, I may may not have the high ground anymore. I may have gone down the deep end of the rabbit hole way too many times. And eventually my friends are just like, dude, we can't help you. But... Whether I'm just dreaming, whether I'm just imagining things and how bad things can actually get. My life, my calling, my motivation, my determination, my stubbornness always gets the best of me. And yeah, I've still proved day in, day out to others. I prove it. I've been on both sides of the coin. I've been on both sides of the life and death spectrum. I have experienced a lot of things and yet, I can't really explain things 
in a way that people would just understand. So a lot of my listeners, a lot of my viewers are speechless. They're questionable. They're questioning everything I do. Logically, they're trying to figure it out. And they can't figure it out. Why is such a nice guy end up having a horrific ending? Why is such a nice guy end up becoming a ghost? Becoming a figment of a people's imagination? Because I didn't want people to remember me. I didn't want people to forget about me, but I didn't want them to remember me. Try to remember me when I was better. When I was alive. When I gave a shit about things. And they remember me for some other uh, other horrible reason, and they can't they can't discuss, and they don't they want they don't want to discuss, they don't want to talk about it. They know what's going on. They just don't want to come forth and be like, honestly, your life sucks. You don't have everything underneath the sun. You don't have a great exit strategy. You go down with the ship, man. Everyone else gets off. We stay. And we go down with the ship. So whatever I created, whatever I made for myself, if it was my own coffin, if it was my own grave, I dug it. I lived in it. No matter what others may think of me, they're never going to know the true realization of what it's like to live a day in my shoes. But they all know what it's like to live in Zach's shoes. That's why the fans really care about Zach. Few amount of words. Yet my words are like endless. I could spout off words like a machine gun. Picking off people one by one. Tearing them down one by one. My words. That's what everyone hates me for. It's my words. So if I'm not saying please or thank you, what am I saying? I guess I'm saying bad words. I guess I'm saying offensive things. Or maybe I'm just saying things that shouldn't be really a bother, shouldn't really be a pain in people's asses, you know? I'm telling them the truth. I'm showing them the truth. 
providing evidence for the proof. Do I get my own justice? Do I get my own dessert? Do I get my own slice of pie? In which maybe you just need a pat on the shoulder and say, good job. You did it. You did it, buddy. You did it. Do I need a breakthrough? Do I need someone to hold my hand? You know, it would be nice to hold someone's hand for a change. It would be nice to hold someone's hand for a change. I've been holding my own hand for a long time. But my hand is cold right now. It's freezing. <laughs> eh, anyway. But I did it. I did something. I did a lot of things. Eh, you know, I did a lot of things that... Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy for. I'm not appreciative of. I know it's, it's not recommended to talk about your failures, but hey, I, uh, I'll tell you, I feel my failures. They, they ended up turning to big successes. Big successes in, 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 uh, in the long longevity of things. The longevity of time and energy that I have put into um, my uh, my works of art. That's what I call it. Um, you know, I put in the time, I put in the effort, I put in the, the amount of, of what it takes. You know, I put it up. I put it up there. And yet they still can't strike me out. But they strike me out. And the next, next, next up the bat, I hit a home run. Can someone please explain that to me? How a failure can all of a sudden just hit a home run in like extreme difficulty mode. It was a fluke. <laughs> it was a fluke, but like I said, I imagine like playing games. Everyone's playing their game. Sometimes they pause their game. Sometimes they forgot to save the game. Sometimes they just keep playing the game and finally beat the game and then they move on. Other times they go back to the game for some odd reason. They go back to the game and they play it and it's still enjoyable. You know, they still have fun with it. But they just do it because it's, it's fun. I guess what I'm thinking what's fun is, you know, letting everyone down, letting one, everyone go easily. Letting everyone feel like their lives matter more than mine. No matter what the situation may be, their lives matter more than mine. So, I don't want to let the fans down. I don't want to let my viewers and listeners down. I don't want to let, you know, those that I look up to down. So... <sighs> I just want to get done with talking. I just don't want to deal with the interruptions. Every five minutes, there's some type of interruption. And yet our time gets 
frozen, our time gets lost or unheard because there's interruptions. Cooper, what? What is it, buddy? You're barking. I hear you. What is it? Anyway, I guess I'm. Everyone's interrupted by something. You may have constant thoughts, but everyone gets interrupted by something. And then it comes to a stop. It comes to a halt. And they figure it out. Why were they interrupted? Because I fucking trained. That fucking train. I don't know if you can hear it in this video, but there's a train. And like clockwork, that train sign, that train horn acknowledges the fact that I have gone away. I have left my My notice heard. So, to this Monday that we uh, we all faced today, it was a, it wasn't an easy Monday. Let's just say that it wasn't an easy Monday, but we all faced it. We all dealt with it. We all moved on. We all. We have our, our ways through and through and finish the day. So we finish the day. So seize the day. Seize the moment of opportunity. Take care of yourselves out there. Thank you for the support. Whether you want to support me or not, thanks. Thanks for even, you know, listening to this or any of things of mine. It means a lot. It really does. But if you want to turn around and make fun of it, turn around and turn it into something horrible and horrific, be my guest. But for things that I know and things how they turn out, I still haven't spilled my coffee. So, happy coffee Mondays, everyone. That train is so loud. That train is so loud right now. I, 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 I still can't believe you guys and gals can't hear that train on this phone. It is loud. But if you do hear the train, you're not crazy. You're not insane. You're rational. You know right from wrong. And you know exactly who's listening and who's watching. So, if you watch, right on. If you don't watch, well, you didn't watch. You weren't paying attention. You weren't listening closely enough to hear the changes, but segments or not, reels or not, memories or not, 
whatever is on my mind. There's a billions of trillions of things that a lot of people don't really need to know what's on my mind. Because to tell you, honestly, truly, half the shit I talk about, yeah, it can drive you insane. It can drive you completely insane. I guess love and the art of war is a good anime series. But, yeah, it's like Zombieland Saga. It, it needs a third season. It ended, it ended strangely with a, with a cutscene of an alien spaceship gliding up the stadium. Why the hell did it end up like that? A Zombieland Saga needs a third season. I'm just gonna say that. Make that happen. I know they can make that happen. I know they don't want to make it happen. But, give the fans and the listeners and the viewers what they want. Give them what they want. Make them happy. Make them laugh. Make them smile. Make them stay. Make them talk. And keep talking. And that's all they do. They start arguing. They start debating. They start harassing each other. Tearing themselves apart. From the inside out. And you're just watching this. And it all un unfolds. Before your very eyes, you know, everyone starts to take a swing at each other over over the stupidest little things. And it's like, why? Why would you let something so small, so minute, fuck you up? You know, the one thing that only fucked me up was the death of my girlfriend. The death of my girlfriend fucked me up. And I've never been fucking straight in the head since. And I know my family and friends, I know my relatives and listeners out there are probably like, Punk, you're right. You're absolutely right. You haven't been right. You haven't been great. You haven't been really, you know, good at anything. You've been failing. Day in, day out. You've just been failing. Slowly but surely, someone recognizes you actually working, and they're just blown away. They're blown away of how you don't give up. Yeah, I know. I blew them away. Ha ha ha. Yeah. I blew them away, all right. You know. The, the, the moral of the story, the moral of the... The reason why I want to talk is because I, I, I really have no one else to really talk to. And I just hope that this could just be one of those recordings that, you know, no one really needs to talk. They just need to listen. They just need to watch and listen for a few moments. You know? But not everything should be on social media. Not everything. Not everything should be out there. But there's things that need to be out there. And I haven't seen it out there yet. So feeling like I have some doubts and some remorses and some worries. It's one thing. I know my family and friends have been so supportive of, you know, everything. I, 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 I don't know how to repay them. I don't know how to give back. They owe me a lot. And I owe them a ton, a, a ton more. You know, 
But even my idols, even the ones I look up to, they don't owe me anything. Yet somehow, I feel like they do owe me something. They were a part of the story. They were part of the scenario. They were part of the... They were part of something. Of me. So they, they deserve something. It's, they deserve some recognition. Some nom uh, nom nominations. You know? I guess our fans would like to know. I guess our listeners would like to know. Who are the lucky seven? Who are the... The famous Lucky Seven of Dreamphobia. Well, you just gotta read it. But even if you did read it, you can watch it. And if you didn't watch it, but you read it, did you like it? Was it great? Was it bad? You know, feedback. I do like feedback. I do like reading feedback. I mean, I think I spend more time reading reviews on things you know, getting my, uh, you know, my everything in check, and if it sounds really good, I'll check it out. <laughs> but if it doesn't sound good, I'm not going to check it out. If it doesn't sound interesting, I'm not going to check it out, to be honest. So, this may not be interesting enough for, for others. This may not be for others. This may be for a certain variety of people that may or may not have a better, clear understanding of what I'm trying to talk about and try to express and try to explain without the interruptions, without my dog barking constantly in the fucking background and the train fucking going off like clockwork. I can tell you, with a straight face, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how was your day? Because my day was a little interrupted. So I hope you didn't have to deal with a lot of interruptions like I did. But if you had to deal with a lot of interruptions like I did, I hope you were able to at least finish what you started. And I finished what I started. I really did. I finished what I set myself up to do. I didn't set myself up for failure. Or to become an idiot overnight. You know, I set myself up for success. And, uh... It took me a while. It took me a while, I'm not gonna lie. It took me a while, but I set myself up for success. Success in hoping that I can actually interact and communicate with a bigger audience a bigger demographic, a bigger wave wavelength of of communications between others, not just not just in my state, but states around me and countries around me. You know, I, I try to reach out. I wanna reach out. I want them to 
to know about the punk, to talk to the punk, to be a star with the punk, to hang out, hang out with the punk. Yeah, it sounds fun and all that, right? You know? What's it like to be a, a guest on a, on a talk show? I don't know. Because when you got your own talk show, who else wants to talk? Most times, people just want to listen. <coughs> so, I'm going to take a quick break. Let that train go by. The train keeps on rolling. Whether I'm on it, or whether I'm not on it. The train keeps on rolling. Whether I see it, whether I don't see it, the train keeps on going. So, all aboard. Welcome to, uh, Coffee Mondays. Uh, just talking, just chatting, and just recording becomes a thing of a of the future, I guess. I don't know. Or a thing of a past. I don't know, maybe. Uh, not everyone wants to do the dirty work. That's what I always come to find out and saying. No one wants to do the dirty work and all the, the shit jobs. You know. But you gotta do enough of those jobs to get recognized for greatness. You know. And once you find that perfect job and you get that perfect job, do you do you boast about it? Do you brag about it? No, I try not to, and I try not to brag about my life, because my life sucks, simple as that is, my life sucks, yeah, my girlfriend died, I haven't had any relationships since then, my friends have all abandoned me, my family and friends have almost pretty much forgotten about me, same as half a million Americans out there, and half a billion trillion listeners out there, they all forgotten about me, you know, they're just like, oh, we forgot about you, we, we totally wanted to forget about you, we totally made sure that they would always forget about you, because they can't remember you, they don't want to, you're just too bad of a guy. Just too bad of a person to be remembered. Oh, wow. So was I worse than, like, Biden? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was worse than, like, Trump. You know, everyone's like, oh, my God, Trump's evil. Trump's evil. You know, Trump wasn't evil. 
He just believes all the lies. He breathes every ill detail. But then when you realized what's really the truth and what really matters the most and what's at stake, and people are livid. People were just fucking livid. They were just, they were going batshit crazy. And it was crazy. It was, it was great. It was like, wow, people are losing their fucking sanity. And I'm just watching this happen. And I'm just like, what do you want me to do? I can't, I can't fix people's problems. <laughs> I try not to make problems for others. But there's, there's, there's some problems that I have and I need to fix. And the one problem I have is getting time. So there's time I'm not going to get back. There's time and energy I'm not going to get back. And it's a waste. It's a waste. It's a, it's a sad waste of, of time. But, you know... Would I rather waste my time imagining that others cared and were supportive of my said time? Yes. But like I said, I'm not I'm not really big hyped. I'm like low class grade one of a kind type of a person. I'm just a... I'm a unique type of person. And when people say unique, you know, I mean I'm unique. I'm not normal. Now I never was normal to begin with. I was always looked at the outcast. You know, the loser, the outcast. <clears throat> Whatever I did, I never really made enough ruckus or enough awareness, you know? I just put it off and put it off. Kept telling myself, it, it's, it's better this way. You don't have to finish the, the rock opera. You know, you don't have to finish the, the story. The story's already finished. You know, there's nothing more to say then, you know, maybe I told you so. So. When you get your ducks all in a row, you get everything in, row, in, in line, and you look at the, the level of growing and developing now we achieved a lot more things than others really expected us to achieve you know we put up with a lot of things that a lot of people didn't want us to put up with but we put up with it we tried to reason with them we try to talk with them. We try to understand them. We try not to offend them, but it's just something about people. They get it stuck in their heads and they're just, they're one-sided. They never see the other opposite side of the of the glass being half full. 
You see it half empty. You know, they don't see, you know, they don't see what's really coming before it's too late. Out here before it's too late. Well, it's it's getting late. Like I said, the time. I've been on the air for 45 minutes. And throughout the 45 minutes, all I've been talking about is myself. I haven't been really talking about my family and friends and how supportive they are of Dreamphobia and how the seven uh, fans that I, I do have, you know, I have, I have a lot to, a lot to do, you know, but I don't have enough time to thank everyone or to talk to everyone. They're just too busy. And that's their excuse. They're busy. Leave a message after the beep. So now, people have to, you know, check their phones, check their emails, check their everything, you know? Because, God forbid, God forbid, you know? God forbid someone does something stupid, right? Yeah, God forbid someone does something stupid. You know. It wouldn't be the first time. Nor would it be the last that someone does something stupid. So outrageous. So. So amazing that. Society as we know it. Crumbles. Before our very own eyes, again. And, like that, I say, the Zombie Land Saga needs a season three. I, I say it clear as day. You know, Zombie Land Saga needs a season three. Let's make this happen. If, if they're not gonna make that happen, then fuck it, I'll do it myself. I'll write a fucking script. I'll write a fucking script, and I'll pitch it. If they're not gonna do it, then I'll do it. If they're not gonna do their job, then I'm gonna do their job. And if they can't do their job, then I'm gonna tell them how to do their job. You know, I sort of become a manager myself, you know, managing people, and it's like, I. I, I'm i not the manager type of person to tell people what to do and what to say. But, I mean, I am that type of person that, I'll tell you, there's certain things that you can say and there's certain things that you should say. But it's best to just leave blank. Because, you know, some others have already said it, and some others have already seen the repercussions of their actions. For me, I still haven't seen the repercussions of my own actions. I still haven't ended up dead. <laughs> Yet, you know, I thought for sure I was going to die. I for sure really thought I was going to die. I had a horrible dream, nightmare, and I thought I was going to die. Now nah, people didn't believe me. They said, oh, you're just delusional. You're just a, you're just delusional. You're just, it's all in your head. Mm, no. When 
When I left that grave site, I left that tombstone. I saw that tree. And the leaves on that tree have fallen. And it started to snow. It was a beautiful sight. I used to have a, I used to have friends that cared about me so much that they would they would call me constantly on a daily. They would always call me, text me, interrupt me on a daily. I used to have friends. I used to have really great friends. And one day, one day, I just stopped. I just stopped. The day I finally given up on everything, And it sucks during the holidays. It really does suck during the holidays because the one friend I I miss the most. She's no longer alive to support me and to see me achieve things. How could she know that I achieved things? She's not there. How would she know? She wouldn't. Because I'm not talking to her. As heartbreaking as it is, I'm not talking to her. She is dead. Janet Lewell Coey is dead. My best friend, I love her. My vampire girl, she is dead. Yet I see the slim characteristics of her life flash before my very own eyes and when I watch. And when I've been watching, isn't what other well, people think I've been watching. A lot of people think oh, I've been watching like inappropriateness. I, I really haven't been watching any inappropriateness. <laughs> A lot of people are like, y you watching, like, a lot of inappropriateness? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out Zombieland Saga 3. Because the last episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge, it, it, it ended in a way that it still does not make sense in the story. So... Either we gotta change the story, <laughs> or we gotta come up with a new story. But something's, something's not right. It just didn't, it shouldn't end that way. Yeah, the fan, the 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 the, the way that it's so highly recommended and highly you know, watched, I don't think it should end that way. Just saying. You know, maybe I'm just one of those fans that are just like, oh man, I wish they would remake something or rehash something 
and then they try to do it, and it just turns out like garbage. It turns out like trash, and it's like, it's not really what I was expecting. It's not really what I was hoping for. You know, I try to watch new things, and it's just like, it's all generic. Bull crap. <laughs> It's just all generic bullcrap. <laughs> anyway, anyway, whether you, whether you, you like, you know, wasting your, wasting your time on generic bullcrap, and by all means, waste your time on generic bullcrap. But you know, the truth of the matter is, I, I really do miss my girlfriend, and I really wish I had a new lover in my life to ease the pain a little bit because there's so much pain so much sorrow so much sadness that I express it in my music that for some odd reason my music isn't well known go figure I know Right, uh, but a lot of my, a lot of things I've been doing for the past, I don't know, four years now, is, uh, showing, showing a side of myself that a lot of people didn't want to see. They didn't want to see their friend lose their mind. They didn't want to see their friend lose all hope and give up and quit. But sometimes, you know, when it's <clears throat> time to say enough's enough. When's enough? Did you have enough coffee today? Did you get enough sleep? Did you get enough bullshit notifications? Did you get enough missed calls? Did you get enough, you know, notice? I feel like I'm on the radio all the time. And not a single caller, not a single listener can tune in. And I feel like there's still, there's still hope. There's still, there's still somebody out there that probably has a better understanding of what's going on. And ex explain it way better than me. But if they're gonna lie through their teeth, you know, <laughs> it's funny. You wanna talk about teeth. <laughs> I always been one for talking through my teeth. Ah. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Uh at this moment I'm not gonna lie. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Today has been A very long and stressful day, but yet 
surprisingly, surprisingly, it has turned its itself around from the inside out. Yeah. You know, maybe bringing up certain topics, maybe bringing up certain conversations that have to do with me or have to if that have to be about me. Yeah, it depends on who's really listening and watching. Yeah. You know? Skeptics. But scientifically, uh, in that kind of point of view, I really do think, I really do think, uh, you know, I could be on to something. Maybe I have something that's worth giving. Hmm. Anyway, like I said, uh, less about me, more about others. You know, it's it's not the holiday season to be greedy and stingy. So less of me. More about others. So others are doing great. Others are hanging in there. Others are struggling to get what they want and deserve and earn. And me, I'm just floating on by. Not really with the care in the world, you know. What happens, what happens, you know. I carry the weight, I carry the burden, you know. If it's my burden to carry, I'll carry it extra carefully, but if it really isn't my burden to carry, yeah, and give, I can give two shits about it, to be honest. But, Zombieland Saga Season 3, it needs to be made. It needs to happen. Hopefully in the, in the years to come. So, I'm going to start working on my, my own story. And while I'm currently working on that, maybe something might happen. But if you would humor me and start an over and saying this with me. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Even though he didn't get this far in the video. No one really ever does. They never do. <laughs> They can't, they can't sit there long enough. Their attention span is too short. So, whatever happens, happens, right? So, hopefully Tuesday, it won't be the heat in a moment. But if it's here in the moment on Tuesday, have yourself a cup of coffee and hope for the best. As for me, I like to at least dedicate everything I do 
and what I'm made of, for my namesake, and everything is dedicated to someone that's no longer here, and it's Sadly, the only thing that's keeping me sane throughout this whole entire ordeal. I know people could be the jealous types, but, you know, I'm sorry if, if people expected differently from me if I didn't turn out the way they expected I apologize but I never said I was going to make people happy I never said I was going to make people laugh because I can't All I do is make people cry. So. Sorry for your tears. Sorry for your losses. Sorry for your sorrow. But. I have to go. I have to say goodbye. I have to say goodnight. Whether it means anything. Today. What a good day. It was a good day.